Good morning and welcome to Morning Messages of Hope and Inspiration. My name is Jenny McBride and this week was Mother's Day. And so I'm choosing to share some of the lessons that have impacted my heart and mind. Some of the lessons my mom taught me when she was dying of ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. The disease started in my mom's hand. The disease started in my mom's hand, so she lost strength to do a lot of things. And before my mom was sick, my mom was happy and bubbly, and one of her favorite things to do was to read historical romances. She loved historical romances. And as a family, I remember praying every day, and I remember occasionally reading the scriptures, reading about Jesus Christ and his apostles and prophets and the truths that they taught. I remember it occasionally. I remember going to church every week. I remember going to church. But before my mom got sick, she read a lot of historical romance novels. Like that was sort of her guilty pleasure, if you, if you will. So like I remember going, going to the pool and she'd be reading those books or we'd come home from school and she would give us snacks and she'd be sitting on the couch reading these books. And it was just something she really loved to do. Well, when she got sick, it was very difficult for her to hold a book. It was very difficult. And in fact, she would have to ask us to get a book and we'd put it on her lap and we'd prop it open. But the funny thing is, is the book she chose to read after she found out she was gonna die of Lou Gehrig's disease. The only book I remember her reading was the Bible and the scriptures. My mom barely had strength to turn a page, barely had the strength, but every day she asked us to prop this big oversized Bible on her lap and she would slide her fingernail in the page while she was reading. And then after she reads, she'd use her body to flip her hand. Then she'd drag her hand back across her lap and slide her finger in. And after she was done reading, she'd flip the page. My mom taught me the importance of studying the Word of God to study what Jesus Christ said. She accessed strength and power from God by studying about his prophets, his teachers, his leaders. My mom loved God. My mom loved the word and she feasted on the word every day. And that helped her access the power and strength of God to overcome very difficult challenges. Now, throughout my life, I remember even as a teenager, the, like, I just, I would read it, but I didn't get it. Like, I'd read it every day to say, I read my Bible, I read my scriptures, yay, good for me. Didn't understand a thing. It took me a long time to understand the language and to learn about the people. But during my teen years and early preteen years and those junior high years, I knew that reading it was important because my mom did it when it was almost impossible for her to do it. She had every excuse not to read the scriptures. She could barely hold the scriptures. She couldn't even pick it up. We'd have to put it on her lap. One of Satan's temptations is to not read the word and not learn God's truth. Because when we learn God's truth and apply it in our lives, we can find peace and happiness and we can return home to him and have eternal happiness and joy. Satan doesn't want us to read this book. I am so grateful for the example of my mom, that even when she didn't have the strength to pick it up and barely had the strength to turn a page, she chose to read the scriptures and feast on the word daily. There are days that, you know, it's late and I haven't read, and that image, the memory of my mother, comes to my mind of her sitting in that chair reading her scriptures. And I pull out my scriptures, and how hard is it? We have it on our iPhones and our smartphones. It is so easy now to listen or read the word. I invite you to prayerfully study the scriptures. It will increase the power to hear the word of God in your heart and mind, to receive personal revelation, help solve whatever problems you're going through. I know this helped my mom. I watched her. In my own life, I have received so much help and strength. Sorry, that's my husband calling. I promise that as we choose to read 
the word, to feast on it, to love the word of God, we will be happier. We will receive strength. We will receive power. And we will receive God's love. Thank you for joining me in Morning Messages of Hope and Inspiration. Take a few minutes. Find your favorite scripture. And if you don't have one, start in the very beginning and just start reading. Especially study. If you haven't studied much the Bible, will you study the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and just take time getting to know Christ through their eyes and pray to know him better? As you do, you will come to know him better. Study the words of his apostles and prophets, and you will get a greater glimpse of God's love for you. Thank you for joining me in Morning Messages of Hope and Inspiration. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Have a great day. Love you.